Hey everybody, this is Alex Merced, a developer advocate at Dremio, and what I'll do today is just show you how to spin up the Dremio Docker container on your local machine so that way you can evaluate the Dremio UI and get your hands on Dremio at zero cost, zero infrastructure cost, just be able to just play with it. Um, so bottom line is I'm here on the, the, the Docker hub page for the Dremio image. So if you scroll down, you'll see this little command right here. This is all we need. We just run this command. I'll just run that in my terminal. So I'll just paste that there, hit enter, and then I will be right back. I'll wait for the container to start up. Okay, once the container is like done starting up, and you'll notice because you'll see like this output right here that says like the initialization finished. Um, once that's all set to go, what we do is all we have to do is just have to open up a new tab, and we're going to head over to port 9047. Okay, so we're going to do is just go to localhost port 9047, so it's colon 9047 and there you will find Dremio. Okay, so basically we're just gonna set up our admin account, so I'll, I'll fill this in for myself. I'll see you on the other side. Okay, now once that's all filled in, we just hit next, and we're in. Here we are in Dremio, and it's pretty easy to get started. Uh, you can add your sources by clicking Add Source, and you have several different possible sources to try out. The easiest thing to do is just try out this sample source, which connects you some sample data to work with. So there you already have some data that you can begin working with. Okay, so you have that there. Um, you can click on your home space. So like I click right here and I can go upload my own like files. Like if I want to upload like a CSV or a JSON, um, you can begin like creating spaces. So spaces allows you to kind of create like a semantic layer, uh, a nice logical view of all your data. So let's say you want to do like a data mesh type approach. I can be like, okay, hey, let's create a marketing space. for The marketing department, let's create an accounting space for the accounting department and so forth. Okay, and then what I'd be able to do is just go back and edit these and be able to, like add user accounts and things like that. Um, but bottom line is then you could like say, hey, this is where we create the marketing data product. This is where we create the accounting data product and so forth. Um, but yeah, so you can go around and play with this. Here's like the SQL runner where you can run SQL statements. And then this is like the jobs page where you can kind of preview jobs that you've run and yeah, you can just play with it. So uh, my name is Alex Merced, developer advocate at Dremio. I encourage you to just spin this up, try it out, uh, and try out Dremio Cloud. I mean, Dremio uh, software or Dremio Cloud, it's all the same thing. And again, if you're using Amazon, try out Dremio Cloud. If you're using Azure, using Google Cloud, you have an on-prem data lake, try out Dremio Community Edition. But either way, this is a good way to get started to get familiar with the Dremio UI.